Hi everyone, it's Crafty Rose, or is Rose Tony One? Today, I'm showing you how to make these cute little blobby pets, or blob pets. These are different colors mixed together to make a gradient, which is cool. And they're adorable. Just look at them. They have tentacles, because they're like kind of half squid. And they have one eye, and you could put face expressions like this one is worried, and this one's like sticking out its tongue. So, yeah. And you could put them in different poses. Depends on how much clay you have. For this tutorial, you will need any scrap, scrap clay or colors you want to make your blob pet. You will need a little bit of white clay. And a color for your eyeball. Depends on... What color you want it? This one's dark brown, this one's light brown, and this one's going to be pink. It depends on um, the size you make your blob pet, if it's a baby, or a grown-up, or an adult, or a teenager, from the expressions and all the other things. Some things you may need are a cutter, and a series of dotting tools, and blending tools. And you could get different sizes. I got these at Michael's. So let's begin this tutorial. You're going to start out with your blob of clay. Put the other clay aside. Now what you want to do is roll it. So it's like a head shape like this. Here's a close up. Then what you want to do is take your tool or your finger. And go ahead and slide the edges down to make the, well leg tentacle things. It depends on your monster as you can see. There are different sizes. This one looks like it should be a baby. So I'm going to make it a baby with a sucker in its mouth. So what you want to do, they all have different sizes of clay. You could use your cutter to make shapes with the clay, like so. You can make them as thin you can make it as thin as you want it, or not. Now, find the place you want your face to go. I'm picking this spot. If you want to get the fingerprints off, you can use alcohol and a Q-tip or anything you like. Now get your white clay and flatten it. It depends on the size you want your eye if you want it big like this or tinier. So make the size which is taking less clay from the original ball. If you have too little amount, add more clay. When you get the white clay, you want to go ahead and proportion it on your blob pet's face. Make sure it's on the face and not any areas off the face. Now you will take your pink clay, a tiny bit, and roll it into a ball. You're going to place that on top of the clay, the white clay. And it depends on where you want your baby or your blob pet looking. So it could go up, it could go sideways, or it could go in the middle like it's minding its own business like, uh-huh. So yeah, go ahead and proportion that. After you proportion it, you're going to take your tiniest ball pull tool point and go ahead and indent that. You could go ahead and add a black, but I always keep it like this because I just think it's cooler and stuff like that. Now, what you want to do is flatten it out a little more because you're going to have to put the blob pet's foot up. You're going to get something like your ballpoint tool and you're going to put up the areas you want to the tentacles to show. All of them are different so try not to make them all the same unless you're making a replica. As you can see. You're then going to get a light brown and roll it into a snake. Or any color you want the brows. You want to put it in your position it depends on the face expression. So you can see, she's like wandering. She's like, hmm. And keep those flaps up because we're going to put clay under them. 
And now we're going to do the face expression, the mouth expression. I always have my mouth open like this, like, <gasps> so <laughs> I'm probably going to do the same on this one. Just going to take your ballpoint and put it in. But I'm not making the mouth open like this. I'm making a banky. So I'm going to go ahead and get some white pink. And go ahead and get some, roll it into a ball, and do this. Now you're going to put it over the mouth. Like this. And you go ahead and go get another one. And put it on top. And there's your binky. And you could proportion it so it looks different. You could do handlebars, which I'm probably going to do. So I went ahead and fixed it up. Took the base and made it into a little heart. I just used my smoothing tool to make an indent. And I also lifted it off the lips and put one right under this. Right there. So now it looks like this. And you're almost done. I know it looks kind of lopsided. I want it like that so it's like on the side. With the little flaps now, you're going to get your desired color of clay. I'm going to go ahead and pick... I'm going to go ahead and pick yellow. Go ahead and take a tiny piece of that. You're probably wondering why don't you just put it on the full bottom. Because the bottom's not going to be seen. Unless you do want it to be seen, you're going to flatten it, not to make it too thin and not too thick. You go ahead and get your spot and put it under there. There might be some extra, which it will then look like this when it's uplifted off the ground. And you want to do that to all the other pieces of the flats. Soon it will look like this white, roll it into a ball, flatten it, and take your tiniest ball pull point and put it in the middle. So it's like a little tentacle sucker. You're then going to place it on the yellow clay. So it looks like there's suckers on the bottom. You're going to do that for the rest of the flaps. After you're all done adding the suckers, you're going to go ahead you're going to go ahead and get some wire. Now what you want to do is put it in a pin shape. Like this. And twist it. To make your own little pin for the head. Now try to do your best. And go ahead and poke it in the head of your little blob monster. Lastly, take your tiny ball point tool. Or your smoothing tool and go ahead and smooth it in so it doesn't fall out. And you're done. You want to bake at 275 and bake it for about 10 minutes and you're all finished. Here are the finished blob pets. I'm going to make blind bags for these so I can give them away and stuff like that. And you can buy them for two fifty-five. Two dollars and fifty-five cents, not two hundred. Here's the family. And the newborn baby. Hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And share this video with all your friends. And stay, stay blobby. Stay blobby.